Good morning, teacher. Thank you for joining us today. How are you doing? Hello, Alexis. I'm doing well. No need to thank me. I really enjoy helping you all improve your English skills. Thank you, teacher. As you know, we're going to ask you some questions about learning English to help other students understand the process better. Absolutely. I'm happy to assist. I'm ready whenever you are. Great. Is it possible to learn to speak English as fluently as a native speaker? I've heard many people say it's impossible. Who told you that? Well, I can assure you that it is indeed possible. Achieving native-like fluency in English requires dedication and effort. It's not an easy feat, but with consistent practice and determination, it can definitely be done. That's encouraging to hear. Next question. How did you feel about the English education you received in school? What was the teaching method like? Reflecting back, the English classes I had in school were quite different from today's standards. We had to pay extra for English lessons and the quality wasn't the best. Our teachers spoke only in English from day one, which was very challenging because we didn't understand anything. This led many of my classmates to dislike English. However, I was curious and did my own research to understand better, which helped me pass the course, but it was tough. That's interesting. I wonder if it was the same in schools around the world. I doubt it was the same everywhere. Let's hear from our students. How was your English education in school? Everyone, let us know in the comment below. Good idea. Now, here's another question. Is English easier or harder to learn compared to other languages? Some languages, like Japanese, Chinese, and Russian, are known to be particularly difficult. Generally, English is considered a challenging language, though perhaps not as complex as some others. English has a vast vocabulary, tricky grammar rules, and difficult pronunciation. While it is certainly challenging, it's not the hardest language to learn. Do you speak any other languages besides your native language and English? Yes, I also speak Spanish, Italian, and French. I enjoy learning different languages, but English remains my favorite. You might wonder why. Well, it's incredibly useful. I love traveling, and English is commonly spoken in many countries, making it a great tool for communication worldwide. That's impressive. Have you taken any standardized English tests, like international exams? Did preparing for these tests help improve your English? That's an excellent question. Yes, I have taken several standardized English tests. They've been very beneficial in securing good job opportunities. These tests are excellent for assessing your English proficiency. But they aren't necessary unless you need them for work or academic purposes. However, the preparation process for these exams greatly enhances your English skills. So I highly recommend studying for them, even if you don't plan to take the test. Thank you. Many languages have incorporated English loanwords. Why does this happen? There are many reasons for this. English is a widely spoken and prestigious language globally. It's the foundation for vocabulary in various fields such as aviation and programming. Adopting English words is easier for many languages because English uses the Latin alphabet which is widely used worldwide and similar to other major languages like Dutch, German, French, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. That makes sense. Is it important to learn slang in English? Why or why not? Yes, learning slang is important. 
Slang is very informal language that's typically spoken rather than written, and it's used by specific groups of people. Understanding and using slang is crucial for effective communication with native speakers and for mutual understanding. It's an essential part of language learning, so make sure to study slang words. I study advanced words and phrases with various online resources. Next question, will technology decrease the need to learn other languages? That's a complex question. With the internet, we can translate almost anything instantly. However, learning another language is still important for personal convenience, self-improvement, career advancement, and other reasons. Just as most of us don't need to learn auto mechanics because we can rely on specialists, we will still need language specialists. Even with technology, there will always be people who prefer to learn languages themselves, either for enjoyment or to ensure things are done well. I really appreciate that perspective. It's very insightful. Thank you so much, teacher. We hope to see you in another session soon. I'm always happy to help. Just let me know whenever you need me. What do you think, everyone? Should we make another video? I hope you found this conversation helpful. If you did, please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend. It was a pleasure answering your questions. Keep practicing your English and remember that consistency is key. Is there anything else you would like to ask or discuss today? Actually, yes. Could you give us some tips on how to stay motivated when learning English? Absolutely, staying motivated can be challenging, but here are a few tips. Number one, set clear goals. Define what you want to achieve and set realistic, measurable goals. Number two, find your interest. Engage with English through things you love, like movies, music, books, or hobbies. Number three, practice regularly. Consistency is crucial. Even 10 to 15 minutes a day can make a big difference. Number four, join a community. Surround yourself with other learners. Online forums, study groups, or language exchange partners can be very motivating. Number five, celebrate small wins. Acknowledge and celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Those are great tips. I especially like the idea of celebrating small wins. It's easy to forget to do that. Yes, it is. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Recognizing your progress helps keep you motivated. What about dealing with frustration when you don't understand something? That's a common challenge. When you feel frustrated, take a step back and remind yourself that it's a normal part of the learning process. Try to identify specific areas where you're struggling and focus on them one at a time. Also, don't hesitate to ask for help. Sometimes a different perspective can make things clearer. That makes sense. Patience is key, I guess. Exactly, patience and persistence. And remember, every mistake is an opportunity to learn. Thank you so much for all your advice and support, teacher. We've learned a lot today. You're very welcome. I'm always here to help. Keep practicing and don't give up. You're doing great. We will. Thank you. And we hope to have you back for another session soon. I'd love that. Take care and happy learning. Take care, teacher. Goodbye.